According to a recent survey, Brownsville is the least connected city in the United States. A lot of people don't understand that they could be using the internet to start a business or to pay bills or to do all the things that people do online. A lot of people here aren't even aware just because they don't have access. My name is Myra Delgado. I'm from Brownsville, Texas, and I am a science teacher at Idea Frontier College Prep. My parents come from Mexico, so I guess that would make me a first generation American. I teach IB Bio, so 11th grade biology. Last call, anybody else? Our school is a public charter school. Most of our community is low income and uh, Hispanic. All right, class, so welcome back to your favorite class, IB Bio. <laughs> Um, as you remember, today we're going to be working on a virtual frog dissection. Are you guys excited? Most definitely. Most definitely? Okay, I like that. The digital divide is the gap that exists between people that have access to high-speed internet and people that don't. You can even expand that to include literacy with technology. So it basically means a lot of people can't take full advantage of technology like others can. And the way I see this affecting our community, it impedes people from being successful financially or being able to connect socially. What is a tool that we use to slice through in a dissection? What is that called? Scalpel. Scalpel. Those are so much fun, but I always have to hide them in my classroom because kids want to use them as sharpeners and stuff. The most disheartening conversations I had with some parents was some parents didn't have the means to pay for internet service. Some parents didn't even have the infrastructure near their homes to get internet service, so a lot of these kids had to either come to school and park in the parking lot or park at the McDonald's to be in class. And for parents that work all day, that was just not uh, realistic. So the students in our school were really struggling with connecting to classes and keeping up with the work. A lot of the community didn't understand the need, but I think living through the pandemic, working from home, having their kids work from home, a lot of people realize that it is something we need, and we need it yesterday. And so now everybody is really engaged in the conversation. In Brownsville, we are resilient people. We're a united community, and I think that's what inspires me. We all found a way to help each other, and I think if we continue with this mentality that we're in this together, we'll find our success at the end.